So if you notice, views here look a lot like tables, and since you can think of them as virtual tables, they're tables built on other tables. Tables that actually exist we call base tables, and then the results from views we call virtual tables. Anyway, since it's a table-ish kind of thing, let's see what else we can do with it. That is table-ish. Let's insert into customers with no orders values and then looking at the schema here return by my view I have to do the name then the ID and the country so the name will be Jamie the ID let's just say King J and the country USA uh, and then let's uh, let's run all this so boom cannot insert value null into company name so even though it, it, it attempted to do the insert but Notice company name, when it tries to insert that value, look at the base table here. The base table is customers. So when we try to do an insert into here, it try, it, the insert actually tries to go into the customers table. But if we go look at the definition for the customers table, we will see that company name is not nullable. So the view as it stands right now, I actually cannot insert into it. Now I could uh, remedy this in a few ways. Let's just keep rolling with the techniques we have up here. Let's do company name right here. But now that the view uh, requires company name, I also need to insert the company name. So let's put Newmont in there. Okay, and run that. Oh, shoot. I have another error. Let's see. Customers no orders has fewer columns than were specified in the column list. Ha, ha, ha. Look at that. It caught me. I said, hey, I'm going to return four columns, but my select only returns three. So this is kind of a copy-paste error because I'm defining these column names here, but actually selecting them here. Oh, anyway, let's just... Let's roll with it. Company name. Okay, run that. There we go. So now if I select splat, well, first of all, notice we selected splat and then we did the, the insert. That's why that's why the Jamie King row didn't show up here. So now that now that I've put my Jamie row in there, let's run just the select and you notice, hey, there's Jamie, USA, Newmont, etc. So so that's that's how you can insert. I can also delete. Let's um Let's do, uh, let's comment this out. Actually, we're done with it. Let's delete it. Delete from customers with no orders where, or ID, not customer ID, it's ID because that's the name of the column on our view. Uh, ID equals King J. That's case insensitive. I could do it lowercase. And then let's move the select down here so we see that it actually worked. Notice here's Jim King. Boom. I'm gone. So there you go. You can delete and you can insert into it. There are some caveats, some gotchas, uh, which we'll explore in future videos.